We made it and thought it was funny and put it out as an edit. Then the Mac wanted to buy it and they bought it from us and put it out officially and we made a video for it. This was all just because we thought it was fun. And then the song just kind of took on a life of its own, which is honestly really great because it's brought in a new audience of people that listen to music that we've made that we're more passionate about. I like how he says a new audience of people that listen to music that we've made. Yeah, if you can call that music. I'm sorry, but this type of computer-generated diarrhea is not music. Picking up an instrument and playing, that's music. How about living with my bitches, hashtag live. I only got 10 likes in the last 5 minutes. Do you think I should take it down? Let me take another selfie. I guess this is what taking Facebook and putting it in song format would look like. The Facebook likes, that's what the dum-dums do to puff up each other's egos. Instead of being a forum for discussions, Facebook has become a hub for people to post thousands of photos of themselves and brag about them. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Number 1. If you've watched my video last year, you probably know that I'll take a jab at Nicki Minaj whenever I get a chance to. It's nothing personal, really. It's just that she has a talent to make uber-atrocious songs. However, for this year's number one, I've chosen two of her songs. Right from the start, you know this is going to be bad. Like, real bad. My anaconda don't, my anaconda don't, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. This song has everything I hate about Nicki Minaj. Promoting her ass. Obvious check. Autotune. Check. Extending words with a retarded voice. Check. Reference to sex. Check. Kindergarten level rhyming. Check. Seizure. Check. Body shaming. Check. And suicide inducing music. Check. Let's take a look at Only and see how it holds up. I never fuck Wayne, I never fuck Drake All my life, man, fuck sake If I did, I'm a nudge with him And let him eat my ass like a cupcake My man fool, he just ate I don't duck nobody but taste You're sitting down on that big butt But I was still staring at the titties, dog I never fuck Nick and that's fucked up If I did fuck, she'd be fucked up Minus a few elements, it's an equally horrible track I guess the main theme of the worst songs this year was people singing about their sexual fantasies and other people listening to them with great attention. It makes me wonder why. Is it just because they are celebrities? Spoiler alert, the sex that they're having is the same as everyone else is having. I guess people have nothing better to do with their time and also music to them is just background noise. I'm absolutely sure that most people don't listen to the lyrics much. Only those things could possibly explain one of the worst years in music ever. So congrats to Nicki Minaj for taking the prize for the worst song, or worst songs rather, of 2014. Since music has pretty much nosedived into oblivion, one could only hope that a revival is coming soon. However, there isn't much evidence to suggest that it will. Dishonorable mentions go to Taylor Swift's Shake It Off, and her shameful attempt at tackling online piracy by claiming to be quote-unquote poor because of it, while being a multi-millionaire, Jason Derulo and 2 Chainz' Talk Dirty, mainly for featuring a really crappy early 90s rap loop, Becky G's Shower for being a stupid teenager song about having air in your brain instead of, well, an actual brain, and Ray Schrimmer's No Flex Zone where the lyrics make absolutely zero sense and contradict the title of the song. Well, that's my list for this year. 
I wish you all happy holidays, have fun, but take care and drink responsibly if you do. And I'll see you in 2015.